by pressing the bell icon you'll receive all my new videos and a press on the thumbs up would be much appreciated. Morning folks, Monday the 1st of April, I'm in the glorious Lake District. I'm at set my banning campsite again, that's becoming a regular, a regular haunt when I go down in the lakes. It's a good starting point, you know, get here the first day or the first night and then do something a wee bit, you know, more adventurous the next day. So I'm here with, with Mark, my regular camping buddy, or one of my regulars, Mark Silver Fox, or <laughs> it's uh, Sean, is now calling him eBay. So I don't know whether I should change him to eBay or keep him a Silver Fox. I'll show you where we are. There you go. It's a cold night. I mean, I've been I was camping up at uh, 3,000 feet last week. This is uh, this is a good bit colder than it was then. That was up in Scotland. There he is, the man himself, Sean. I've been out with Sean three or four times. There's the star of the show, Pip. And Mark. As I was just saying to the, I was just saying to the people that uh, eBay, it's it's no Silver Fox anymore. It's eBay. <laughs> it's Mark eBay. eBay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got a lot of editing. Yeah. <laughs> You've got a lot of editing to do with Sean. <laughs> Get the swear words out. <laughs> right. We're, go we're heading to Langdale's, I think, or wherever. We don't, we're not sure. We're not sure. Somewhere that area. We'll catch you later. Scott's Wild Camper. The wild camping channel for the great outdoors. Right, folks. 2.45 p.m. That's us, We're having a wee short hike up to Stickle Tarn. That's where we're parked. Here's a wee look at the other side. Tickle Gill. Was that Gill? Gill? I don't know how to pronounce it. But this is the way we're going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Steepers when you were walking up there. Yeah. Like, oh dear. <laughs> Here we go. Find you for the sheep. Oh, right.
just a big staircase folks, uh, a good path all the way up I think, well it looks like that, that's what Sean says and it? it looks certainly like it's a good path all the way up, see Sean jumping over the, oh it must be a style, I thought he was climbing over the fence there, I can just make it a style now, there he is. There's the path up that way. Up, oh, and I can see people love the waterfall. Yeah, where are you about to go? Oh, that's nice, yeah. Lovely, jubbly. And the summer, that'd be nice to step in, yeah. yeah. Very nice. That way, yeah. He's scrambly, but. Break over. We had five minute break there. Put my jacket back on, but to be honest, <laughs> I already feel I'm overheating. But it was it was definitely chillier. Uh, I think it's going to be. I think I forecast minus five maybe tonight. I think that's a good that's a good shout. It's going to be below freezing anyway. Up on that ridge, I think I'm sure that's it. That ridge up there, you can make it out. Another half hour. There's another quick view, looking back down, down the valley. So at this point we turn, so this is the point where I think we turn and if we cross over there, there's people on the other side. Nah, they're saying we head up. So I think we head up and then then go across. Uh, whatever, we'll see what happens, eh? There you go, another wee scrambly but pretty straightforward folks to be honest. Pretty straightforward. Well done. Ah, it's uh, There's a wee scrambly bit you got up. Probably about 20 seconds worth of scrambling. And then over here. Lovely jubbly. We're nearly there. Let's 
Ja. Oh. Oh, how's he getting up? Oh, you're cute, Come on. <laughs> There he is. Go up, mate. That's it. You get there. No, he's back down. Yeah. All right. I've never done it before. You're watching this, hopefully this will help. It's a straightforward hike with a few very short scrambly sections, very short. So most people I would say you've got full mobility, you're not too overweight, you'll make it, you know. It's one for everybody I think. Just need to be guys always be careful. When you're hiking, that goes for any hike. That's Sean. His legs are short, that's why he's wobbling about. He's not done a hike since October. He's just feeling it in his legs. Now oh, you've got to get the leg muscles going. Oh, he nearly went there. Ah, here we are. Destination X. There you go. Over there. That's it. The deed is done. See this in the see this in the videos or the YouTube videos I watched in the lakes when I started when I first started well watching the YouTube and then about Maybe nine months later, I started wild camping myself. It was these sort of places in the lakes. Most of the videos I watched were all oh, the Geordie lads. Every wild camp I seem to be from Newcastle. There's a cage there. That's where you get thrown if you throw rubbish. If you leave rubbish, that's where you get thrown in. Or you should. <laughs> For a couple of hours anyway. That's the punishment. There's Mark's pitch, nice and flat, nice and clean. <laughs> There's Sean's pitch, no bad, no bad and I've no been bad. allocated the sheep shit area. That's my spot. That's my spot there. No respect for the Scotland's number one. Scotland's number six. Uh, Scotland's number six, I think I'm voted now. Some magazine or something. Number six. No, it was somebody's. Uh, it was a uh, adventure trails. <laughs> they did good videos, yeah. Good trips and good good films. Adventure trails, number six. <laughs> I'm number one, and don't you forget it. Of the universe, aye, and the world. There you go, that's uh, that's our pitch spot. We're all happy with our pitch spot. <laughs> there you go, kettle's on and scones, clotted cream and jam. Blueberry jelly. Blueberry jelly. Great stuff. <laughs> <laughs> How is it? Great. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Oh, I... 
100 out of 100. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the best scones that I've ever had from uh, Betty's Tea Room in um, Keswick. These are very good. Mm. Mm. Oh. I'll say it's Stuart. The mines, all mines. Pip, you have no chance. Ah, that's not it. It says it's nine degrees. Nine degrees? Ah, he's enjoying his dinner. He's enjoying his dinner, Pip. Eight o'clock, 90% chance of. All right, Pip. 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 <laughs> Stops about between three Pip. and four in the morning Pip. when the sun comes out. Turn round. No. <laughs> He's too interested oh, in his food. Having his dog. His dog's dinner. It's a dog's dinner. He's having. Dinner's in the dog. <laughs> That's not the right temperature. It says it's nine degrees. It fucking feels a lot colder now. <laughs> Got another one for him and I like, looks like he's gonna have it now. Yeah. There's only 150 grams in there and he, he hasn't had much. <laughs> I think he prefers red tint. He prefers a red solo to a uh, green. A <laughs> Nothing in there for you. <laughs> he's in my rucksack. What are you looking for? Pip. What are you looking for? I know, he's going to roll up on you, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Right, folks. It's 8.50. We've uh, been in the tent since 7.30. Uh, the rain came on. Sort of lightish for about 5-10 minutes and then uh, heavy. Uh, so it's, I think it's going to be like that for... For hours and hours. Well, the forecast is rain all night to 4 a.m. So it's tent time. I was just I was just about to get the big camera, out, maybe take some footage, but the rain beat me to it. So hopefully it's a nice morning. I, th I think that's the forecast. It's going to be a clear morning, so we'll see. So that'll be me. I'll be just. I'll make another cup of tea and have a another packet of crisps and a chalky bar and then just settle down for the night. That's all I can that's all I can do. It's nice up here. Stickle tarn. Or uh tingling tarn as Mark called it. <laughs> tingling tarn. Right, I've not got much. I've not got much else to say, folks. Hopefully I'll get some footage tomorrow morning. So, good night. 7 a.m. Uh, Tuesday morning. It's been raining the whole time in the tent. That's about nearly 12 hours. Uh, the wind's got up the last few hours, I think. Let's get and now it's a bit of, uh, it's snowing, but it's, it's that sleety snow. So it's, it's pretty unpleasant, to be honest. <laughs> That's part of it. We're going to get another hour to see if it, the weather improves, and then we'll just start getting packed, and we'll try and get off, go off the hill for about 9 o'clock, whatever the weather is. So I'm not be, I don't, <laughs> don't have to be getting any much footage with my my big camera. As I said last night, I think that's out the window. Anyway, I'll probably come, could come back here again. Nice place. Right. I'm just going to slowly, very slowly, get things organised. 8:30 a.m. That's us all packed. Look at the weather. Weather's changed. Changed about half an hour ago. Well, as we were packing, actually, it began to clear, change. Typical, it looks like it's going to be a nice day. 
just as we're leaving. But that's it. Still cold, right enough. It's minus five and Mark's a thermometer. I'll just try, I'll, I'm not getting the big camera out of it's packed, but I'll take some footage with my, my action cam. Just took a few shots. Just a few bits of footage this trip. So this will be a short video. Sometimes I say that and it's like 35, 40 minutes, but I think this this will be a I don't know 15, 20 minute vid. That's short for me. Oh, I get Pip. Here he is, folks, the star of the show. Pip, he's done great. He's done well. Yeah. Right, just in case you couldn't hear me in the wind, I'm just saying I'm coming back to the lakes this year. Well, maybe twice, but I'll certainly be back to the lakes and I hope to get back to Wales as well. Hey, car, Mark will drive me down, or I'll get a train if Mark can't make it. Uh, right, folks, I think that's it. I think I'll just end it here. We want to go down and get some food and a cup of tea. I think that's where we cross, but we're not going to do it. Down this way, path on this side as well. It's a bit safer, easier.
that's the end of the descent. To be fair, that's a wee bit more tricky than I thought, so still okay, but I imagine it in winter conditions, you know, going down there would be quite dangerous, you know, for your ankles. Anyway, we're there, bacon sandwich and a can of coke time in about five minutes. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, I'm trying to get his in. Away from me. Aye, the sun, no, the sun, so. We'll right. see you for the next one. Aye, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I'll step right, a wee bit back so you can get the three. Oh, yeah, it's right, that right. angle because it works at. Oh, right, get... Is it wide angle? Aye, ah, it's wide. It's on. It's on. One. Right, take folks, two. take two. Take two. Action. Action. So I was just saying, I'll be back in the lakes <laughs> and I'll be back at Wales. <laughs> Maybe Mark will drive me down. Take two. Take two. <laughs> and I'll be going to Wales again this year. Maybe with Mark. Uh, and maybe Luke might go as well. But anyway, it's great going out with Sean and Mark. Oh, we've had a good laugh. Yeah, right. From Stickle Tarn, well, after three, I'll see you for the next see you one. For the next one. Right. Number one. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> <laughs>